Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze just came out, and I wanted to give my first impressions. Due to Nintendo's strict policy on gameplay footage, I will not be showing any, so I'll make this quick. I've played over half of the game and just wanted to talk about my experience. I've been a fan of the Donkey Kong Country series since the SNES, and it may not be my favorite game on the console, that honor goes to Super Mario World, but it is a prime example of just pure elation when it comes to platforming game design. Balancing timing and enemy placement that makes you think about every jump, all with a kick-ass soundtrack. Available on Amazon.com. The series returned on the Wii with some minor motion controls and a seemingly ridiculous difficulty level. I didn't beat it. I couldn't. I, I got frustrated and I gave up. Did they rack up the difficulty level for the hardcore audience? What I learned from playing Tropical Freeze is no. They didn't. They designed everything from the old games for a new generation with new mechanics that help make the series evolve. This is the same series that I, we, all grew up with. And Tropical Freeze is a more than welcome addition to that franchise. They reintroduce Dixie Kong as a playable character, as well as Cranky. Well, playable. Having a total of four Kongs in the game brought up a very interesting point. You can only play as Donkey Kong. The three other Kongs are just buffs for Donkey Kong, giving him a hovering ability, a jump boost, and the ability to kind of jump through brambles and fire with Cranky's cane. Kind of like a Simeon Scrooge McDuck. None of the other Kongs have their own voice, and that made me sad. I wish that I could play the game as Dixie and Diddy and get my Diddy's Conquest on. And a very minor gameplay thing, one of the classic moves from the SNES games was the roll jump, where you would roll off of a platform and jump at the last minute to kind of give you an extra, like a long jump. It was in the Wii game and it's in this one, but I feel like it gives you too much momentum uh, as I've jumped right into enemies, right into projectiles, and right into pits to my death. So far the boss fights have been hard enough to warrant a couple of times playing through to figure out the patterns and eventually win, but the second world boss, Scowl, was a bitch to beat for me. I used up so many lives because it's a four-tiered boss battle with no checkpoints and so many tiny little projectiles that can hit you that it, it took a little bit longer than expected to learn the pattern in order to beat him. But I did! And I felt great! And that's when I had the aha moment that this game and the one before it were not dumbed down or, or too hard. We've been in a gaming generation where everything's kind of like handheld. That is an iOS joke. The game gives you plenty of lives and Funky Kong has a shop where you can buy additional lives and buffs and shields and hearts, but I haven't used any of them yet. It's not hand-holding, but the hand is right there just out of reach so that you can grab it if you need it. I akin it to learning to ride your bike. You go on your own, you start wobbling, you might start to fall, but then you have a parent there to grab you and pick you back up. Does that ruin the experience? I don't think so. When I learned to ride my bike, it wasn't like, uh, it doesn't count because my, my mom helped me. It's, holy shit, I'm riding a bike! Do you own a Wii U? Buy this game. I think it does 2D platforming better than New Super Mario Bros. U. And it offers a better challenge. Don't own a Wii U? Buy the game. Buy a Wii U. There's so many good Wii U games out there right now, like Pikmin 3, Monster Hunter, Super Mario 3D World, the Wind Waker remake, and also Smash Brothers is coming out this year. So if you want to get ahead of the game and get a Wii U while they're still in stock, buy it now and then pre-order Smash Brothers. I love Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze so far. It's got great music, great visuals, great gameplay. I've had a couple of gameplay problems, but it provides an experience that I haven't felt in years, and I love that. Internet! Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to be doing game stuff. I'm going to be doing wrestling stuff. If you are a wrestling fan, go to AfterBuzzTV, youtube.com slash AfterBuzzTV, and watch their NXT After Show. I do it every week with Katherine Kelly. Catherine, why did I call her Catherine? With Kathy Kelly and Hobo, my, my buddy Hobo. And stay tuned, because Hobo and I are working on some stuff. Uh, Soapbox is working on some stuff. And we're probably going to be going back to Minecraft, if you are fans of Minecraft playthroughs. I've been playing the hell out of our server. We're probably going to open it up. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.